If I didn't make the choice to come to the Doe Fund to change my life, I wouldn't be holding my son. I'd be dead or in jail for the rest of my life because the path I was on wasn't good. It was a road to destruction. If the Doe Fund didn't exist, I'd probably be dead or back in the penitentiary. If the Doe Fund wasn't here, God knows where I would be. Eleven months ago, I was sitting in a prison cell at the end of 20 years, wondering what I was going to do. A lot of guys like me inside wonder what's the next chapter in life. What are we going to do when we get out? If there is an opportunity, where are we going to go? I mean, 20 years. Anything I ever had or loved was gone. By and large, it's been, uh, in my judgment and experience, a lack of opportunity that people have had, and not any character flaw or defect of their own. Uh, we're all human beings, and we all make mistakes, and we hopefully learn from those mistakes. Our folks, when they make a mistake at 13 or 14 years old, have to live with that mistake, branded with that mistake for their whole lives, and they don't have an opportunity. And I think that that's the subject that we need to address. Their character is just fine. Typical day of my life before the Doe Fund, not really organized, no goals, no motivation. My life before the Doe Fund, I was down and out, waking up in the morning, going to grab a firearm. When we started Ready, Willing, and Able 30 years ago, everyone told us that the people were too lazy or too crazy to work. The thing was that we actually knew the people. They were human beings who wanted to have opportunity and go to work. And everything that we believed about people and the best in humanity is true. For me to be put in like this kind of environment to do the right thing and somebody to trust me, it was like, ooh, I ain't never had that feeling before. I shoveled steps. I shoveled walkways. I made paths for the people of New York City to enjoy the Hudson River Park. And it's not just picking up garbage. I did so much damage to this city that it's ironic that now I'm cleaning it up. And it feels good. When I got to the Doe Fund, I saw an opportunity. If I want to change, I got to do it now. The Doe Fund shifts that whole perception because they provide uh, an environment where everyone is positive. Everyone is looking to better themselves. It took time for me to learn how to appreciate what is it that I'm doing. I'm actually doing something not only for myself, but for the community at large. You know, you keep the streets clean. You know, you, you, you give direction to tourists, to people. And like, number one, it's a sense of security, having the men in blue around. And I'm like, wow, like it really opened my eyes to what I represent. And at first, a lot of people see it like, oh, I'm just cleaning the street, but it's bigger than that. We cannot afford to lose another generation of children to incarceration. And that's what we're doing if we don't provide opportunity for the fathers. So now I'm in this position where I'm changing my life and my son is getting older. It makes me feel good where I could grab him, like, come on, Kyrie, let's go to the park or let's go get something to eat. I wouldn't give it away for the world. Like, I, I love that feeling. I love it. It's good, it's great. Spending time with my son is everything. It's, it's my happiness. It, it's my peace of mind. It's my clarity. It's my truth. It's me. We love people. We want to help people. We do it very well. We can do it better tomorrow than we've done it today. We can help more people next week than we did last. I have dreams now. They're brought back to life now just because I'm a part of the Doe Fund. It's going to be amazing. This uniform is a beacon of light. When my son grows older, I hope he says that dad is my hero. That's all I want. And I love my son. <laughs>